Hey, what's going on YouTube? Jimmy here, making it work. Um, I'm gonna do a little uh, liquid mask today and I thought I'd film it for you guys. I already sprayed one coat of liquid mask on these bodies, but I'm gonna spray the next coat of liquid mask and show you my process I'm using a spray gun. It's an economy spray gun with a 2.5 tip I got on Amazon. Link in the description if you're interested, you can check it out. Uh, using the affiliate links helps, out the, helps me grow the channel. Um, and I really appreciate that. I'll probably put, um, I have a, a door jam gun that I like to use too sometimes, a little smaller. But this is really good for thick stuff. The 2.5 millimeter tip is, is, it's got a huge tip. That's, what, that's how big the tip is. It's pretty gigantic actually. Um, but it sprays it really well. So I'm going to use my strainer. You, all, you can watch the process, but um, what's going to happen is my compressor is going to turn on, make quite a bit of noise. So probably overlay some music in there for you guys so uh, you don't have to listen to the compressor and kind of have a mask on because I'm breathing this liquid mask stuff. Uh, probably not a good idea. This stuff's pretty... They say it's water-based and non-toxic. You don't want to breathe liquid mask latex. It's not good to have it in your lungs. So I'm using Dively's today, Bob Dively liquid mask. Bitty Designs uh, as well. It's tinted pink. This is comes out a little more clear. You can see these bodies. That's uh, one coat in there so far. Um, you can see it's pretty transparent. It's a really slight blue. The bitty stuff is a pretty dark pink color. So it's a, sometimes it's a little harder to see through for some work, but uh, you know I use whichever one I can get a better price on. I don't really see a big difference as far as their performance goes. Uh, one's pink, one's blue, and the, the dive the dive is generally a little cheaper than the bitty. Maybe because the bitty comes from overseas, but we'll see what we can do. I got my compressor charged up, and when I start spraying, it won't take 30 seconds, a minute, and the compressor will kick on because this this uh, spray gun moves quite a bit of material. Put some liquid mask in there. I always try to use the strainer because there's always some chunks. And I also try not to waste too much because this stuff's about. $45 a bottle and save as much of it as I can. I'm going to let that drip through the strainer. It'll come through pretty slow because it's super thick. It's definitely worth you doing it this way because you're definitely going to get some chunks that would clog up your air gun. When I get done, I'll show you the process of how I clean my spray gun as well. So You can clean it really quick if you're going to use it again in a few minutes. Uh, but if you, if you don't take everything completely apart, there'll be latex inside and it's going to dry up and it's going to clog the tip. So anytime you spray this stuff, you got to take it completely apart and clean it out really good because otherwise you'll go to use it next time, it's not going to spray. No matter how much water I've flushed through, it never seems to, uh, it never seems to be clean. And also click like and subscribe, I really appreciate you guys doing that for me. If you learn anything in this video, it really helped me out. I'm not sure if you can see my compressor or not. That's the compressor I'm using.
What it looks like it's a little bit light if it starts to dry a little fast then I'll go back over it while I'm spraying as soon as if it starts to do this really soon while I'm spraying then I know it's a little light it shouldn't start to get patchy and dry that quick if it's thin it's gonna dry real fast so you know you can go back over it that the thing I like about the spray gun method is the liquid mask is super smooth, super smooth easy to cut consistent straight lines just comes out a little bit nicer. I brush it on too, uh, especially if I'm only doing like two bodies. I'll brush it on because it's it's less cleanup work. But spraying it, it definitely comes out a lot nicer. So it's a little easier to work with this way. So let's see if you can guess who these bodies are for. Anybody have any guesses whose bodies these might be? You can uh, put your guess in the comments. Maybe I'll give somebody a a free paint job if they guess who's who's paint job. Wait, one person can't guess who's these are. And that's who's these are. <laughs> so let's head inside and we'll uh, we'll head inside, clean up the spray gun. I'll clean it up the quick, easy way that you think works. Then I'll take it apart and show you why it doesn't work. Let's head inside. Yep, I cleaned my foam brushes too. Even though they're disposable, I reuse them. There's no sense spending the money when you don't have to. Wash them up. You can also dry the liquid mask with a um, with a blow dryer, just like you do with the paint. So that works just the same. I'll show you how it dries pretty quick too. That's about as much as I like to use the uh, hair dryer. I don't like to overheat the Lexan. Sand starts to get hot. I'm not looking to damage the Lexan body. So you ready to you ready to draw your design out? You guys got a little little uh, taste of what a a quick coat of liquid mask, and then um, obviously cleaning the spray gun. The way to clean it properly, and the way to clean it quickly when you think you might have cleaned it thoroughly, but you really didn't. Um, Hopefully that helps you guys out. If you picked up any any tips in this video that you might have liked, make sure to click like and subscribe. Uh, and maybe click the bell icon so you'll get notified when I make a new video. 
I'm going to do automotive related and uh, airbrushing related videos. So I might even throw in a little other hobbies that I have. So stay tuned for the next video, guys. I appreciate it. See, yeah, that's all I got for now. So thanks for watching.